few seconds. Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. We are uh, connecting with uh, Munich. So, first of all, I wish to welcome our uh, guest of today, uh, Olga Biro, Olga Zobel, the from Gallery Biro, and Kinga Zobel. So, I'm very, very happy to be connected with you today. Uh, welcome, welcome to Milan, <laughs> even if just for a <laughs> virtual uh, conversation. This is so, very nice, Eliana. Very, very nice. <laughs> I'm, very nice I'm to really meet you here. <laughs> yes, uh, it has been um, uh, for uh, almost one year that because we had planned to meet again last March, but then everything stopped. Everything was upset uh, with this uh, terrible uh, and difficult uh, moment and difficult time. Uh, but I really um, have to thank you and thank all the members of the jury of Gioielli in Fermento, uh, because uh, you gave me your time, even at the distance, and we could uh, share uh, all the considerations about uh, the works of the jury and all consideration about analyzing pieces at the distance and uh, um, have many um, different uh, moments and different connections that we have to share. Uh, and last but not least, uh, today. Uh, I'm very, very happy to start this conversation. Uh, so first of all, uh, you are uh, connecting from Munich, Monaco di Baviera, Munich in uh, Germany. Uh, and your gallery, Gallery Bureau, is uh, one of the first uh, really uh, benchmark that we have uh, in uh, to, to refer to contemporary jewelry. So I will uh, appreciate if you uh, tell your, uh, how you found it, uh, your gallery. Oh, oh, at first, excuse me for my English. It's not good. <laughs> I am zero in German, so. <laughs> So you are better than me. <laughs> okay. About 30 years before, I founded the Gallery Bureau in Munich. At the beginning, uh, the gallery was focused on plastic jewelry. Plastic. Plastic. But why? My aim was to show the aesthetic quality to the aesthetic aspects of this material which plays uh, such an important part in our everyday life, life and contemporary art but not in jubilee okay i saw the most amazing innovative work by Kais Bakker, Peter Chang, Paul de Rey, but not in Munich. Everything in the gallery was no, new. 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 Some museum supported my work. For example, I gave a lecture in Schmuck Museum Pforzheim. And I was invited to speak in different universities. Through the collaboration of great, art, great, great artists and expansion of my concept, the gallery became internationally known. So, excuse me, when you started, you started uh, meet artists 
be, because you traveled a lot. Yes. It, they know. were outside Germany. They were in the first, other. The first travel, I went to Amsterdam. Yeah. And it was so, so beautiful to meet, meet uh, Paul Derry. Paul Derry. At the From time, Valerie Rapp. And look at the time, Helen Drat was also in Amsterdam. So it was a very it's lucky so moment. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and Kaisbacher, all the artists told me, made Olga, made us, make, make. This is so a beautiful idea. Of course, I asked me, is this, is this possible? How can I make it? But you, this is my nature. <laughs> I you know, know I know, nature. I okay. know. <laughs> you find that this could be the new age. Yes. <laughs> um, and uh, after, or the, with the time, uh, I organized a lot of exhibition, not in Germany, abroad, traveling a lot, mm -hmm. thank you, um, the big exhibition, oh, this is very interesting, mm -hmm. the big exhibition I organized in the and private museum not far from Melbourne, Karavara Museum. Ah, in so we have the... the, the um... In the Yara, in the Yara Valley. We have the, uh, the pictures. Yes. Not, not, not lo located in famous winery. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah this is interesting. But yeah. This, is, this museum is a museum, the first museum from contemporary art, but not from jewelry. When it was the, this is a very, very uh, big museum. This one, you can, right? You can, yes, the picture is not enough good, but um, it, it was the first exhibition for jewelry in this and, museum, you know. Yes. But it, was, it was so happy, a museum for contemporary art of, of opens. opens the door to us, to <laughs> no. So this is really um... oh, I was so happy, happy, happy. <laughs> so I... the wine was was connecting once again. <laughs> uh, also, your starting. Of course, you know uh, uh, my English, but when I want to speak, I speak English. You know, <laughs> this is this yeah. is the, the, good. Yes. Uh, don't uh, afraid this and uh, after this exhibition mm -hmm. everywhere. It is very important in the early nineties. I uh, curated exhibition in Sarajevo. It was during the during the war. And, ah. and we don't have pictures. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> The verb, and we had many difficult, difficulties, difficulties, but also wonderful experience. And yes, extremely lucky. So you were really uh, strong in your determination, in your will to to go there and have an exhibition uh, in such a difficult moment. But where's to uh, you know? Um, do you do you know Susan Zontag? Yes. Susan Zontag, the philos philosophical. Yes. Yes. And she told, in war, you have to you have to show art. Contra. Against. To react against. <laughs> It was my idea, my idea, and jewelry, you know, jewelry is so, so uh, old. This is the first 
thing, especially in human life, you know. Yes, when it's like something that something gives strength up. to your body. Give, yes. uh, uh -huh. It's symbolic in, in the when, strength yeah. that can give to your body. The National Gallery in Sarajevo. On the, the, in the cellar, because on top everything was bombed and ruined. Yeah. Well, it's it's a, a, a um, uh, it, it's similar to what you are doing uh, in this time because I know that you never stop uh, with your exhibitions, uh, with your gallery, uh, along all the time with uh, the lockdowns or, or the difficult. Uh, um, um, moment to visit the gallery, but you still uh, continue to offer a new exhibition in your gallery, like uh, your last one. <laughs> and everything is to fight this moment with art through art. Yeah, but also, also, yes, yeah, it's also, I think, a part of them, um, which is very typical. But um, for all of that, the jewelry is really sold to. So yeah, it is, it is something that strengthens, that gives um, a view to the future, that opens up everything, um, that makes people to uh, brings people to communicate, um, to get yeah in this very very touchy thing, right? So in in hard times, this is something actually our soul needs, mm -hmm. and that's the reaction of Olga. She said, but the harder the time is the more we need it. Exactly. Yeah. This is well, the harder the time and, <laughs> and can, the more I we need. Back, yes. I came back to Munich and in this exhibition in Sarajevo was also uh, Hermann Junger. Mm -hmm. you know, Hermann, yeah, Hermann mm -hmm. Junger. And I came back and he told me, Olga, you understood his jewelry. Yeah. 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 Okay, but Sarajevo was a very, very important uh, time for me, you know. Okay. Okay, so we can share other uh, images uh, of your... Uh, 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 sorry, I have to go there, okay. Uh, for example, from Schmuck, 2011, I read. And... This was an exhibition um, we were because to... you always collaborate during the Schmuck um, exhibition every spring. There is the famous uh, uh, celebration of Hermann Hoffmann Prize, and then all the city of uh, uh, Munich. Um, uh, is very, very active in showing contemporary jewelry. So, uh... but this was not during the Schmuck week. Um, uh huh. It, it, was, it was a different project. But it ah, was okay. in relation with the city of Inic, with the cultural in, um, department. But this was an exhibition showing um, big collections of Munich. So these are all private collections. We had um, seven? Seven. Seven, 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 seven collect private collectors. And um, the pieces have been in this exhibition. Every, for every collector, we had like a, like a box. Like if you looked at the other picture, the second picture, please. Can you scroll further? Yeah, this, this one. Yes, so yes. this is the situation. Um, so every um, collector has a wooden box with the um, showcases inside, and um, there are the names of the artists listed. And um, so it was more for the um, audience in Munich to, to show. see, yeah, to see that it is how interesting it could be to collect um, jewelry. contemporary jewelry. So you set up uh, different, uh, like different rooms, in each room where uh, up to one of your collectors then exactly. so show. Exactly, one of these rooms is for one collector. So we had seven rooms and um, the different showcases inside. 
so everyone could uh, understand the vision of uh, the different visions of your collectors for maybe uh, someone had uh, make different choices in uh, with your artists yeah of course it's a very personal thing what you collect how you it was collect. such really really interesting so this was I in up to um 2011 so maybe at distance uh, in 10 years uh collectors changes or maybe enriches uh, enrich their collections yeah very by now we have um, new collectors and some of these ones here are not any longer that <laughs> so um yeah it has of course changed yeah. yes uh then we oh then we have wow. another nice place yes yes this is also a very nice and long lasting project um since uh, many many years Olga has created exhibitions in the south of france in change sur mer um and um by now this uh, gallery solidor became a museum for contemporary jewelry in france it's the first and the only museum for contemporary jewelry in france and um here you see it's here I Yes, so everybody all the artists. Big exhibition. It was the exhibition Glamour mm -hmm. um, in France, and um, later this exhibition came to Munich to the Villa Stuck. Um, the museum took the exhibition over, and was it? Yeah, it was a group show. Um, the theme. Ah, but that is that is very glamour. Pictures is very important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, uh, yes. But, the artist Peter Chung. You yes. Know Peter Chung. Perfect. Yes. The Perfect. first from from uh, left to right, Peter Chung. Yes. Yeah. Peter Chung. Robert Smith. Robert Jump Smith. Out of Jump out of the Then Gabi get, get Dubai. Gabi Dubai. Get Rotman. Get Rotman. <laughs> the local Constant the, in the middle, right? Yeah. Um, he's the city. And Daniel Kruger. Daniel and Kruger. Philip Sajet. Philip Sajet. Yes. Olga. 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 And, the, and the, um, that's all, the, the, the other ones. Just just the collection. The <laughs> this is an historical uh, picture with all these conventions of famous uh, artists con in contemporary ju contemporary jewelers. Uh, then we have oh, this is another really nice exhibition. You know, the ring. Yeah, it's more. It's more than just an exhibition actually again because it's also a long lasting project it was going for over 10 years and then it this was made for the schmuck week in munich in march yeah. yes it, yeah is the exhibition um with robert baines robert baines and we saw he, yes. him yes. down there <laughs> I, the, he's not on the picture mm -hmm. and yeah, the amigos the amigos yes the this amigos, was yes. uh this was in 2018 yeah, i think it has been for 10 years I don't um, know ah okay i i saw the last uh, <laughs> the last yes. edition yes the amigos so the three artists that connect together for uh exhibit their uh, works and, and always with uh, uh thanks to olga right yeah, I mean, of course, the three artists, they have, they are very close friends. That's why yeah. they call themselves the Amigos. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, the idea came up to have this exhibition in, it was in the Munich residence. Uh -huh. And uh, always with this round blue table. Um, for, and um, yeah, we were very lucky because it was a good, very nice sponsoring. Um, and, yeah, it has been for 10 years or over 10 years, and it was even going to Italy, the exhibition once. In Padua. We, yes, we saw yes. it in Padua at the Oratorio di San Rocco. But you in, know why, why I ask this, please? But in the Munchen residence, it's the biggest jewelry exhibition 
until collect, collect uh, collection until uh, the this is the the 19th uh, century. century. Wow. The biggest jewelry collection in Europe. Oh. And this is a place for contemporary jewelry. It's really, yes. Idea. Yes. Yeah. yes, yes, to connect this, the past connect with the future. Yes. 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 So, then we have, uh, ah, this is always in the Space Solidor. Uh, contemporary the, Museum. Museum, yeah, no. Yes, sorry, we have to adapt <laughs> it. Yeah, this is yeah, so Carfish. <laughs> Carfish. We still curate, um, at least every second year, we still curate an exhibition at the museum. And mm -hmm. You know, this next year is Australian. Yes, and you also brought a lot of Italian uh, yeah. artists uh, in, uh, in, especially in this, in, the, in this space, uh, yes. You know, three yeah. generations. Three generations. Yes. Martinacci, Babetto e Anna Maria. E Anna Maria Zanella. Yeah. I missed it. I missed that. <laughs> that exhibition. <laughs> so, I have the, the documentation, but I, I unfortunately I missed that. Uh, but I had the uh, lucky to uh, to meet them uh, in other uh, occasions. Now he is. Uh, these are are these uh, with. Um, also in the Expas Solidor or in Munich? This is in Munich. Mm -hmm. and this is for the 850th birthday of Munich City. And um, it is a performance uh, where we worked together with artists and gave um, these uh, three women, these two three actresses, they um, got jewelry from the Gallery Vivo and they wrote a piece, a theater a short, but it was more like a performance, right? and with music, and they were wearing all the jewelry of the artist. So jewelry took the place uh, of being worn. <laughs> that yes, is so important. <laughs> Not course. only to see jewel, art jewelry in the museums, but also to wear jewelry. It was on the street. Well, this is in there. I don't know where I wrote this. Because we had several um, shows. Ah. So this is another show. Wonderful. The show, yeah. You keep pointing out what is, in, what is important for us, right? The <laughs> jewelry on the body. On the body. <laughs> jewelry is the art for the body. So this is the um, Schmuck show, which was um, held in 2013, 12, 13, and 14 as an opening event for the Munich Schmuck Week in March. Mm, mm, and, um, mm. The idea was that everybody who had an exhibition in Munich during that time could participate. And uh, we um, asked the professional models and the professional show designer to um, yeah, have this um, organized. And it's a, with over 400 people, guests coming. It was a very, very big um, event for the city, and that it was your it was Kinga's project. Yeah, it was it was a collaboration with the city of Munich, and it also had a publication, a little um, book, well, a little booklet going with it, and um, yeah. Yes, to to bring to bring the 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 pieces out of the showcases and put on the body. I was very impressed. Uh, the mm -hmm. first time I I visited uh, Munich the, in, during the Schmuck Week, uh, because I found that um, the it, it was amazing how uh, all the people attending every exhibition and in every uh, group, well, with so many people like this, with uh, hundreds of people all together. Each one uh, was wearing a piece of jewelry, especially maybe a brooch. Uh, men and women 
every kind of age, every kind of uh, uh, look. Uh, and this was really what shifted, make, made a shift in my mind uh, because um, I had like a, a kind of uh, um, respect of many art pieces, were, okay, wearable pieces, but they were looking like uh, sculptures, uh, micro sculptures, uh, always in the museums, uh, very, very, um, uh, with many celebrations of, of this show. <laughs> but really, in Munich, I saw really the same pieces were on the body of everyone, <laughs> not only of the artists, also of many collectors. So this was really impressive the first time. <laughs> Yeah, it's a crazy time. It's a really special. Yes, very. And I think that uh, everyone, every designer, every artist that are, is experimenting in contemporary jewelry should uh, take a trip to Munich. And I really hope that next March <laughs> this will be possible again <laughs> because. Uh, uh, and we had this. Uh, because we, we, we talked about your gallery and this is the really clean um, look of your uh, galleries. It, it is small inside, but it, it is big <laughs> in concept. <laughs> Big in concept, but small in size. <laughs> <laughs> and this, uh, this I, I, I'm very um, uh, linked to this uh, to, to this uh, setup, to this uh, exhibition because it it shows uh, it, it was held uh, last uh, uh, last September September uh, two thousand nineteen. Uh, for uh, the Pas de Do exhibition for uh, uh, Anna Maria Zanella and Renzo Pasquale, the couple, uh, one of you your uh, artists. Yes. So this is really nice. Uh, this um, uh, the excursus that uh, I think uh, it has been interesting uh, for maybe for our audience to uh, know uh, your uh, uh, really uh, great experience uh, uh, and how many pieces uh, through all these years <laughs> you could uh, observe and you could touch and you could wear. So. I, I remember uh, your uh, publishing that uh, the, your, that your car, your gallery uh, edit uh, for edited for uh, I think the 20, 20th anniversary uh, that the the green uh, book uh, and uh, it is amazing I think because uh, even if it is in German <laughs> we have, uh, we have it. ah yeah you you have it yeah. there. <laughs> it is nice, it is amazing for me because uh, you, um, you, you can find uh, really the history of contemporary jewelry in the 80s, in the 90s, and it was uh, really nice to try to intercept all the artists uh, of course, uh, some of them were very young, <laughs> and, but uh, it, it was really um, nice uh, to to all, to see all the pictures uh, of uh, um, connecting the collectors, uh, the wearers, uh, and the artists. So you you great uh, a great uh, you did a great celebration. Uh, about and yes, this is Robert Baines in yeah. his uh, workshop, <laughs> and they really it, it is really interesting in um, uh, breathing the uh, the spirit that you had in at, at that time. So I think uh, um, well uh, now just to uh, come back to oh do you. Uh, do you wish to add anything, Olga? Okay, we can. Oh, yes, yes, of course, of course. Yeah. 
Continue. You can continue. Oh, okay. <laughs> so so uh, when I uh, contact you uh, to ask for uh, to be a member of the jury of uh, Gioiello in Fermento for the 10th edition, I was so excited because uh, I really um, planned to uh, make something very special for uh, our 10th anniversary because also Gioiello in Fermento uh, has been growing since uh, 2011 and growing in international uh, context. Um, so I, I am very honored <laughs> to have you in the jury. Uh, I always make a, a mix uh, um, with uh, different uh, um, personalities that comes from art or from design uh, context and fields. And even if maybe can be uh, complex to um, to bring together the uh, decisions of every one of you, I always uh, uh, take it like a challenge. <laughs> and I think also for the artists, uh, it is a really a challenge. And they uh, accept to uh, be uh, to, to be seen uh, in all uh, their uh, different uh, ways. So it, it, it is really um, a, 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 a challenge that face uh, them with their work uh, and they accept to do it uh, with your, uh, with the decision of the judges. Um, the first part of the selections um, uh, was really um, we had to uh, to do it uh, without the final look live to the pieces. So this was really complicated because, was, as I always uh, tell, uh, we found uh, ourselves uh, to do this during uh, the the worst time of pandemic, um, but. Um, just a, a, a step before, the uh, Gioielli in Fermento competition aimed to investigate experimental jewelry as we, uh, we uh, learn from the story of contemporary jewelry sh you show uh, to us. Uh, however, uh, it is a, a kind of contamination between the artistic field, uh, the self-production uh, area of, of for many artists, so it's also a mix of craftsmanship uh, and also uh, of prototyping uh, designs. Uh, it is difficult to, to identify which works and which path are representative. And uh, the jury uh, usually is asked to evaluate the innovative aspect combined with the coherence of the concept and of the structure of the piece. Uh, from your point of view, when examining a work, what catches your attention? Which elements are for you very important? Eliana, this is very <laughs> difficult and... <laughs> intimate question <laughs> and even if you might not believe me is it has nothing to do with to like or the dislike a piece ah. and it talk to me you yeah. talk to me i look at a piece Pictures arise in my mind. Carl Fritsch once said, once said, <laughs> once said every, each jewelry finds, finds to wear. Mm. All, you have to and cross. I agree with Carl, with him. So it's the jewelry that finds the wearer. Right? Yes. You know, in, in the interaction. It is not. Yes. This is not, not for anyone. Either, right? This is beautiful, not beautiful, not. This is 
Ja siis mürake. Ja siis on mürake. Mürake, you know. Competition, and competition, I try to ignore this feeling of me. In competition, this is an other thing. I examine the piece, the photo, like an, an object, uh, and I judge only the composition, the colors, material, harmony, disharmony, the variability, 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 and last but not least, the cultural background. Down. That is very, very important. So also in this way, uh, the piece speaks to you because it has to tell something about culture. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Innovation. Elliot. Innovation. Innovation is never part of my judgment. Judgment. Innovation. Never part of my judgment. Usually, innovation usually take, takes place after radical changement, changes. changes in all domain of art, as was in the Renaissance and in the 60s. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. So it, it has to, um, maybe I'm very um, excited of this, uh, change that we did uh, making a double edition of, of the competition so that maybe we can register this kind of change in what was before the this strange uh, period that affect all over the world and the after. <laughs> so this is one of the changes, maybe. You know, uh, maybe uh, my idea of innovation is uh, very special. Mm -hmm. Very, very special, yes. Um, I, uh, I take the knot uh, in the complexity and the depth that rise our interest to recognize something new. Yes. So it innovation, can be... Innovation. Mm -hmm. What does it mean today? Uh, and Nora, might be that beauty has <laughs> come back into art. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Maybe. yeah, yeah, innovation, yes, innovation, yes, know. because it, it's a, a kind of um, re convert, the revert, <laughs> revolution, it, it, yes. not, not only, like we, we talked uh, with Alba Capellieri uh, last week, and we um, uh, make, uh, it talked about the slight difference between evolution and revolution. So maybe in your in your opinion, uh, we need also to put things upside down <laughs> and bring back beauty in art. You know, it is very important for me. Innovation never part in my judgment. Never. <laughs> then I have to check. I have to check the original originality. Originality. Mm -hmm. But what originality? Is but what is that? According, according to Richard Sanet, mm -hmm. as as something where before 
there was nothing. This is very complicated. I, I can, can you repeat, Kinga? <laughs> repeat, Kinga. This is something that is new, uh, that is instead of something which has never been. Uh -huh. yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> it's a slightly difference. Never yeah. been or it's being new. It's a new thing originally in in place of something which has never been. Never been. Mm -hmm. Do we find something like that in the work by young jewelry artists? Should we be looking for something like that at all? Hmm. And of course. We have to look at how the piece is made. The craftsmanship is the pre prerequisite for an uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. but yeah. only for beginning. Only for beginning. So it, it is sorry. It, it is like if um, an artist has in the beginning has to demonstrate that he works he or she works directly there is not an intermediate an, an, an intermediate uh, between the work the, the the idea the concept and the work at least at the beginning right, is that in the europe at least right? you you uh, Herman Junger told told me told the artist a student you have you have to enable to make good peace, but here and the academy, forget it. Forget it, please. You have to have the knowledge. You know. <laughs> I said in, 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 in German uh, language, we have two different uh, more words. Words. Art words. And what's um, in the rule? Uh, this is art, order, with one Rotman, Art, or the art, the artisan. Ah, ha, ha. Yeah, yes. Art or craft. Art or craft, maybe. Mm. And you, you have that stronger. And you have now what we, the artist, the artist, the maker. And Make you know which way you want to go to be an artist. This is this is not priority, you know. To no, it's just artist. a starting point. Then you have to choose. You have to choose. This is very very important. Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> they are very interesting. All these um, and uh, well, uh, when. Uh, I'm, I'm very, uh, I understand that it has been very difficult to select, to make this collection, this selection in this part, in the first part of the competition without uh, considering the pieces live. We, uh, uh, we had to, I, I could show you the pictures of the pieces, I could show you some clips video clip of the pieces so uh, luckily we we had these technologies and we were very very near to reality but still uh, we lack the final view uh, so uh, I know that this could be very difficult for you and uh, isn't it <laughs> I, I, I would like to say um, the background is very important for me. Mm -hmm. From which culture the artist came. Only here I can find originality. originality. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. But I have a problem with innovation and originality today. To yeah. Look at, and to look at the work by young artists. Yeah. Good. And in our also, case, in mm -hmm. our case, it was almost impossible, impossible to find a final decision because 
you did not have the fish yes in the hands in, in the hands yes to hand yes and in fact we pictures, we have a pictures can be very seductive 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 I yes i discovered it myself you know yeah it is yeah. not yeah yes and, and photo and photo never speak to me but the piece the <laughs> yes in <laughs> your hand and this is the reason why we have a selection that is more uh, numerous a big number of pieces uh, because it it is like a standby that we are looking forward to the second part of the competition and so th this is was really a challenge uh, that we tried to uh, to meet a, comprom a compromise of um, uh, of the examination with the video clips that in uh, nowadays are uh, very close to reality but they are not <laughs> enough because you cannot evaluate also the physical part you can just <laughs> show um, look at uh, with a simple show uh, but is there anything that intrigued you uh, by the conditions that you uh, look at the pieces so uh, along that all you have seen from Gioielli in Fermento and especially from this selection do you remember anything that he, that catch your attention? <laughs> Until today, my absolute favorite piece is the ring rush from <laughs> eleven. Gigi Mariani. <laughs> <laughs> this is really uh, I I. I um, I show uh, to our audience uh, uh, what are you talking about because maybe there is someone that still had not <laughs> that had like not picture. yes this is only a picture uh, right it's like a, like a painting but it like it is like a painting yes. Uh, and, and this is really uh, now it is uh, gone. <laughs> uh, the the owner is uh, uh, is in Barcelona, and wow. it is really um, yes yes. I'm I'm really uh, happy that uh, this happens. So. Uh, for because for me, for example, this piece is uh, the very essence of a fermentation in a meta the metaphor of a fermentation. Because this piece, I had it in my hands uh, for I, it has been in my hands for quite some years before being uh, acquired by a collector and it really changes but in in a kind of evolution uh, and and i'm very uh, uh happy and proud that this is what uh, remains in in your uh, vision also your uh, consideration about uh, this project so <laughs> thank you i i hope that also gigi uh, gigi mariani will be happy for this it was I never met him. I never met him. Personally. No, no, it's not oh. possible. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so it is another uh, um, another uh, reason to come and visit Italy uh, next spring for uh, uh, the Fermento edition. <laughs> and th this really was a, a benchmark, uh, I think, uh, in the career of Gigi Mariani. Uh, because was uh, the 2011 was really uh, the beginning of uh, if we can also scroll down other pieces that he made for uh, um, 
for example. These are on our website. Uh, and he, this is, uh, for example, the year after uh, the bra this bracelet, uh, and where he really uh, definitely uh, take the way, take the path of uh, Niello, like he is really his real um, interpretation and his real medium uh, to uh, to be really close to art jewelry. So combining gold, silver, and yellow. And, and this was the year after again, uh, the 2013. And this was, this is another ring with a, uh, one of the rare um, pieces where um, Mariani put also enamel in uh, and the, therefore a color in, uh, in a piece. And this was the, the, the last, the, the, the other uh, also uh, that uh, traces uh, the beginning of the shift between uh, patinas and then uh, that came uh, towards Daniello. These are all uh, pieces that uh, Gigi Mariani dedicated uh, to, uh, to us, but I, I, um, I really um, uh, agree with you that <laughs> that Russ is really the, uh, the 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 most iconic piece. <laughs> you know, Eliana, so, you, you know. Thank you. I never meet him, but you know exactly how I admire. I admire. I like. Uh, Anna Maria, the work from Anna Maria yeah. Chanel. Yes, of you course. Know, Brem. 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 So Brem. some of the Italian artists have conquered your heart and your <laughs> and your vision. Uh, let's <laughs> let's say that uh, Zanella, uh, Babetto, Pasquale. Uh, Mariani, and we ho we do hope also many more in the future. Maybe maybe also some uh, young uh, um, uh, uh, some young uh, artists, uh, emergent artists. Uh, I hope I hope maybe that you find also in Gioia Livramento some others. Uh, um, uh, I don't know if if I can. Um, I remember that you made some observation about a few pieces. I, I wish to uh, show this just as an example of how you um, look at the pieces. For example, I remember, and I will share with you a few pictures, uh, uh, maybe just uh, a couple of e examples uh, from the selection that I repeat, they are not, uh, they are selected works, they are not yet awarded because the, the final awards will be given next May, crossing fingers so that we can do all the double edition, we, we can go to the end. Uh, but I, I wish to share with you just a few, uh, I have to change my screen, sorry. Uh, I have to change a, a very, very, sorry, because I had uh, this one. Okay. Just a minute. And I have, okay. Uh, here uh, we have, I remember that uh, these three pieces were um, hit your attention. Uh, maybe you can just uh, say uh, what 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 is was the uh, the more uh, the more impressive. I can scroll down just uh, really. Uh, 
the three that uh, I remember, maybe this one was one of, of your... Uh, I hope I hope the yeah, king can help me now. You yes. Know, why, why <laughs> Feel I free. Find this, just this piece is fine. I very very honest. 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 This piece is made not for Europe. Uh, it's not made for for our market ask, in, in Europe. Ask. Yes. Yeah. It is something that is um, showing. Um, a deep cultural um, Japanese. Yeah, Japanese roots. It is something, well, without, because for the first viewing of the pictures, we didn't have the names of the artists. And the yes, yes. Came You're... immediately to mind, but well, this must be Japanese. Yes. Yeah. And um, so, and then only, I think, the second or third round, um, we got the names and the origin of the artist, and then. It was such a really good feeling to see, well, yeah, we were right. This piece is Japanese. Yes, yes. <laughs> and um, it's not trying to, um, yeah, to, to catch our um, eye, right? It is very, very yeah. Very minimalistic. So, yeah, yes, yes. Sim simple, yeah, it's silent. simplicity. It's a very silent piece somehow. Mm -hmm. I think that is why it caught um, her attention. Mm -hmm. But this is actually it's also very honest. Yeah, it's almost the same to repeat. Um, it is something that is in the context of the cultural background, very honest, very straight. Um, and um, history. We have the same. Uh, similar feeling with the as with the Japanese piece, we thought because we of course we keep looking around in the world and compare different cultural uh, uh, different artists different blurs, and um, in the last couple of years we have been um, looking a lot um, in the south to South America, mm -hmm. and um, this piece seems for us to be very. Yeah, typical and um, something we, yeah, can I, based in, in, in South America. Can I tell you now, when you look at some jewelry from Lisa Walker, yes, made, made in New Zealand, yes, that's the same, you find history from Aborigine in her pieces. He, she is very, very honest now. Honest. 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 And, and the jewelry like, is different now. Back uh, to the roots, to her exactly, roots. Exactly. She made different jewelry in Germany. She lived in Germany 10 years with Karl Fritsch. But yes. now she is home. Yeah. She is at home. And this is the same situation which this uh, necklace. necklace. <laughs> and uh, we must say that um, uh, the your uh, the in, in the direction of the gallery, uh, Kinga uh, has an eye to the younger generation. Is it correct? Yes. So you have uh, the, the old lady. With the old no. <laughs> no, but no. I <laughs> I know that you have two places. We show exactly. we we show it the uh, original uh, um, place of the gallery, the gallery bureau, but. Uh, side by side, there is in, in other space that is dedicated also to oh. other project. Is correct? Is it correct? No. No. no sorry. So, Eliana, um, the gallery bureau only has one space, mm -hmm. but we do um, go into collaborations with other galleries from time to time. And ah, okay. We we use their spaces, but. 
um, we don't have a separate place for young people. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Is, is it it's that only, yeah, that happens we, that that uh, you show different projects and uh, that they are connected to to Gallery Bureau. Exactly. Okay. And uh, I wish also uh, to ask you uh, a reflection of, as we, we are talking about also the young uh, generation of art jewelers, if you feel like making some con consideration with respect to your experience in talent scouting that also Olga <laughs> do, <laughs> does, uh, do you observe and perceive a specific approach on younger goldsmith and younger uh, uh, experimental jewelers? Um, well, this is, again, a difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> I, this is the occasion I have, and so I'm trying to... <laughs> yeah, it's okay, it's okay. And then I've been asked this, of course, many times, and a lot of, especially young people and the professors, they ask me these questions quite often. Um, the thing is, first, um, the artist, we, we are getting, well, there's so many artists applying at Gallery Bureau, so every week we are getting emails from all over the world. Um, but honestly, this has never um, led to any cooperation or to any project. Um, it's more the way around. We, we look for the artists or um, they have been recommended to us by um, jewelers we work already together or the professors. Um, so we are um, very close working together with the, um, the schools, with the universities, the academies worldwide. And since we have all these really outstanding artists in the gallery, who, we are, who are professors all over the world, like Australia, Robert Baines, and so on. So um, they keep recommending young artists to come up. And then um, we would contact them, or they contact us, and then it starts um, this uh, process. I call it a process, because um, when we first work together, I like to make like um, I like to make projects with young people, um, or I make an exhibition with a specific theme, and um, it's only like a slap shot. I can never, you know, the first the young people they don't have some, yeah, they don't have an oeuvre. so they um, show me something that's just something from the moment. Yeah, and it yeah. might catch so my my heart, my eyes. That's <laughs> fine, but I can never say what it's all about. Um, it, it, so, it need, they need time. They need of time, course, to, need time to mature. Time to... And we together need time. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, mostly we start in a project, in a like, group show, or if um, I have like uh, a couple of years ago, I had a big exhibition in Munich showing seven different schools of Germany um, with their students. And then we had a very nice little book um, accompanied to the, ex um, to the exhibition. And um, so by this project, for example, of course, I met all these young people from every school. We had three students um, in the show. No, we don't have to have them. Um, but, um, and then I keep following up these young people and um, hoping that maybe something will yeah will evolve the, the yeah, evolution yeah, evolve. Okay. <laughs> and yeah. also like the theme of joyelle infermento of this double edition started from evolution and aging using the words of wine <laughs> aging is something that is a mm, ripening is the the maturation of uh, of the artistic also approach and yeah. This is a, an, an icon for me uh, after 
the path of the 10 years. And one last question, if I can, we, we are very long, but, uh, and then I'm reading also the, the uh, comments. I, I, will, uh, I will try to give you a feedback. Uh, but just uh, the very last question for me is uh, to have the um, occasion to talk with Olga and with Kinga. I really uh, would like to understand if um, uh, in comparison with uh, the years that are uh, past and, and the future, there, I think there is, uh, there is always uh, less uh, the kind of uh, collectors, the, 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 this, <laughs> this, um, this kind of the world of uh, the collectors uh, are changing. It's, it's difficult to understand or to think about uh, younger collectors. So this was, uh, because here in Italy, for example, is a, a very, very critical uh, question because uh, we have to identify uh, towards uh, what kind of audience we are uh, uh, directed and if if you can uh, give us some of your considerations about it <laughs> how is your how is evolving your uh, your scene your uh, the collector scene from from the big collectors and the big, big uh, has <laughs> and they they are a, a very small uh, uh, community in the world but also they are followed by huge uh, groups of young artists that are themselves collectors or um, okay i don't i don't want to I don't want to become romantic, <laughs> but I am becoming more and more aware of how time has changed in 30 years. It is extremely difficult to talk about how to build up collectors. It was difficult, but it is very difficult. But um, I think I am very, very optimistic. Yes, because you are a fighter. <laughs> yeah, my character, you know, this is my Hungarian character. <laughs> I think, of course, the time has changed, but for jewelry, for us, is communication very, very important. And I am sure one day in the future, Kinga has a lot of young collectors. Collectors. <laughs> collectors. Okay. And um, we have to. Jewelry is communication. We have to communicate, you know, every day. To strengthen the community, to, to be yes. a community but and enlarge need, the community. <laughs> we need very, very good exhibition. This is, at the time today, it's very important. We have good exhibitions with information and reviews in newspaper uh, and more this discussion discussion about what is jewelry yeah i don't know exactly <laughs> i don't know what is art you know mm. we have to be we, we have to communicate this but but what i i want and uh, what is news <laughs> what again. is news again might be the beauty in Japan. And I hope our next talk we can talk about what is beauty. 
<laughs> yes, I. You suggested the second part. <laughs> the second. Yeah. Excuse yes. me, I have to go in the gallery. <laughs> I leave you. I just wish to um, let you know that Anna Maria Zanella was uh, uh, following our conversation and she says hello to you. She says, thanks, Olga. Thanks, Kinga. Your conversation with Eliana has been a great opportunity to listen deep philosophical concepts about contemporary jewelry. Great. I am very happy. I am very happy for Kinga. <laughs> Thank you to both of you. I, I really appreciate your time, your availability, and I hope that this little, this is a little help with this conversation to our uh, community, uh, our way to communicate jewelry, a contemporary jewelry, experimental jewelry in our world also in our pandemic world. See you very, very soon in person. I hope so. Great. Thank you very much, Olga. Galerie Bureau. I, will, I put uh, your contacts uh, in, the, in the chat for the webs. Your website is uh, beautiful and your, you have also a YouTube channel and you share a lot of great, great experimental yeah, jewelry. Yeah. Thank you very much, Olga. Really, really thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.